triple tail, triple tail, triple tail. The Lamartians, they went out with us, did a 12 hour trip. We shot three videos. I think we're gonna probably turn all three of them into separate 10, 15 minute videos. They hammered those Amberjack and on the way in, we stopped and got some triple tails. What was that thing that we saw? It was something floating out there, a big net full of full of bottles. Yeah, I mean, it was it was a big fishing net in the shape, shape of a hexagon. And that's what a hexagon looks like for you people at home. <laughs> And it had all these like two-stroke outboard oil engine containers in it. Yeah. And some ropes dangling down. And the thing was like the size of a car. I mean, yeah. it wasn't small. It was big. We no, could see big. it for a couple hundred yards away. Yeah. We thought it was a square grouper. We thought it was a square grouper. I thought we were <laughs> going to be famous. I was going to like tweet the president or something. I don't know. And uh, it wasn't. But it was cool anyway. We ended up putting pictures of it and some video of it on social media and the Florida Wildlife Control people. They reached out to us and they told us that it's actually a Alright guys, we're headed out. Hey, Troy Johnson. Yeah. Ball. We're gonna go out and try to get some monster amberjacks. Hopefully the, the sharks don't get us. Fish on. Yes, sir. So we do it. Alamaco Jack. A little drink? Sounds like it. <laughs> What's that? Triple tail. That's a what? Triple tail. Like hey, good. Sorry, man. <laughs> but for he, was, he was about 12 inches. Oh, you guys just know 12 inches off the top of your head? I do. Naturally. <laughs> nah. I was just waiting for that. Oh, what's over there? Look at that turtle. He's coming this way. Okay, well, so ready. For the camera. At the end of the day. Big old turtle. I'm, I'm worse than most people. You've not on camera. You've never worked in an emergency room. I'll be sure, I swear. <laughs> I was a, a soldier <laughs> and an airman. <laughs> Alright, maybe we can. Okay. Bye. Can you fall in the water, throw that camera in the boat. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, we did it. Can I go on the other side over here, you think? Yeah. Sure. Yeah, absolutely. You guys have a interesting triple tail? <laughs> it's fun. We're gonna get it. There you go, get him! Ooh, look at this. They're, they're, they're kind of like dinosaurs. Fish out!
Yeah. Ready? Yep. Well, I got live action. Just bring bring them over this way. It's okay. And I think Jeff has them on too. That's a bigger one. Frank, no, 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 they'll, they'll cut you. Yeah, yeah, they're very sharp. No, no, very, very here. sharp. Well, never put your finger in a little tortoise's mouth. Yeah. Think about Not really. Whoa. He's a masturbator. I am what he's not here. <laughs> the, these have razor sharp. Yeah, they do. They, they do. The, the yeah, everything offshore is plates. Plates. Gale's plates yeah. are sharp. They, yep. they are. Like a Ginsu knife. No thanks. Rupert and Snapper Man. Do that. You make that mistake one him. time. Thank you. <laughs> I saved him. <laughs> ah, he's about 13 and a half. What is that thing? Is that a triple tail? <laughs> Why they call it triple tail? I don't know, man. They get lots of tail. Yeah, they are masters at getting the bait off. Let it fall naturally. He's got there it. There you go, get him. He's got it. He's got it. Whoa. 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 It's like an ocean crappie. Not the brightest fish in the world. I'm not real smart when I'm hungry either. And I'm not really that smart in general. I can't believe there's no mahi out here. It's a fish attracting device that has most likely been released in, by the Spanish fishing fleet. And originally where that hole was, there was a big GPS locator beacon. And they, the fishing fleets would use that to go, they would know where it's at and they would just drive out there and they would know a tuna would be on it and they'd go get their tuna and come back. Mm, gotcha. And I guess over the last 10 years or so, they've been putting way more of these out there. And usually they don't find them at sea, they find them washed up on the shore. So the FWC researcher, he was like super interested to know about this thing. I want to know about my footage. Well, I thought he was kind of the, the, the big bad boy police guy from the FWC. So I didn't necessarily give him everything that he wanted then. But now it's on video and he can see it. And I'm sorry about that. But I've heard some horror stories of people tricking some people into some stuff. And I didn't do nothing wrong. I just videotaped something and caught some fish. And, yeah, we we and fished we actually, off of it. Yeah, we fished off it. We threw it all back. I mean, he wanted the GPS coordinates and all that. And... I kind of gave him how many miles it was and what direction because I didn't, I just didn't get the GPS coordinates. Next time I will though. Right. But these guys, you know, they've been fishing for bass and stuff and walleye and they were used to setting hooks and we, we threw some bait and some jigs out there and, you know, I think what, in about 30 seconds we had one or two hooked up. Oh, absolutely. Every, some, every bait. Yeah. Yeah. It was we, we quite some, a few fish. Yeah. We had some really good footage. You know, we spent, how long do you think we were there? About 30 minutes? At least. 45 minutes maybe? Yeah. Yeah, and we caught so many fish, and not one of them was big enough to keep. And I was like, it's time to go. And they were ready to go, too, because they wanted to get a triple tail to eat, and I really wanted them to get one, too. Sometimes it's not in the cards. But these guys from up north, they'd never been offshore fishing. The experience they had that day, 
hammering those fish. You should have seen the grins on their faces, and you'll see some of this in the video. There was a hundred triple tail on that thing. I mean, it was like shooting fish in a barrel, literally. There's a couple times they just flop it in the water and just catch a fish. I mean, it's not even fair. Right. No, no, there was, there was quite a few. That Well, they were there for the structure. Yeah. It was quite a, quite a bit of fish under that. Yeah, and everybody thought that thing was tied up. We sent somebody down there to look at it, and it wasn't. It was just free floating. Until next time, guys, I really like to thank my sponsors, Coastal, Brownells, Journey to St. George Island. If you believe what we believe, that living a waterfall life is not just for fun, it's a lifestyle. Please like, subscribe, and share this channel so we can inspire just that. Thanks again, guys. Have a great day. Tight lines.